Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to explain about BOP and BOE. The topics which we are going to learn in this video are how to create bill of process BOP and bill of equipment BOE, how to create assembly line, station, process and operation, how to consume the data to BOP from MBOM and BOE, how to link MBOM and BOP, how to link BOP and BOE. These are all the topics which we are going to cover in this video. We will see about BOE like a plant we can say like a plant structure for basic purpose and I will show that as well like how to create that plant structure. It means that that BOE says like a bill of equipment that contains the resources like a, a welding guns and robots and any resources which we required that will be available in the BOE. Just now I will show you about like an example of how to create the plant structure or BOE. Okay, for, for plant structure for MBOM, we have used the item as an item type to create the structure. For BOE, we have an uh, option called work area. You need to go to file, new, work area. Then here we have option called a plant. So sometimes in uh, reality and uh, sometimes you for particular project some users like uh, stakeholders may create their own custom item types also based on their project requirement but currently for for example purpose i'm showing with the what is available in the otb go to next and assign item id now i can give the name like uh, pen boe or training or something we can give whatever we want You can see here this is created here and after creating here again select this pen boe top node and go to file new work area and select the line like a plant and this will be derived like a defined like a plant line stations likewise we will define the boe so likewise we will create the line here like i will just give a name like a assembly line And I will create one more assembly which is called assembly line 2. Okay, then you can see here and we have created two assembly lines and each assembly lines may contain the stations. So now we will create some few stations under this assembly line. Go to file, new, work area and here we can select the station. Click on assign and I'll just give a name like station 1 or station 10. I'll create another station here and we, we, can, we can create some few stations for example. You can see here that assembly line contains the three stations. Likewise, you can create the stations under assembly line as well. So this is how we need to construct the BOE. And you know that BOE contains the resource data like robot, weld guns, and any resources or which we are going to use. And we will use the BOE for that. So now we understand about how to create the BOE. And next part is and we need to create the BOP bill of process for that we need to go to file new and go to process click assign pen BOP
and this is how we created the uh, BOP top node and inside that inside this we will create like a, for BOP creating BOP and processor sensor process operations and we can do the sequencing also here sequence plan also so for this uh, process and uh, we will create the uh, under each processes and we will create the necessary operations and we will see how to do that now we need to select this uh, BOP top node and go to file new and here we can go to process here and or else we can select here and here also we have an option called process in the tool window you can select from here as well and you can assign and here or based on this i'm just creating the processes like uh, body assembly process and just for example i'm creating like this and i have created this then i'll create another one like uh, part assembly process part assembly process finish and again i'll create a one more called a validation or inspection you can say i just considering like validation process based on our this uh, pen type so i'm just creating for example i created the validation process so now we have created the uh, build up process top line and under this we have created the processes necessary processes here then under the processes and we need to create the necessary operations here so first we will create under this body assembly process and go here and we have an option called operation here and we can go from here or else you can select here and file new and we can go to here like operation and here we need to select the type of like whatever is uh, required like we can select the operation here like uh, based on our requirement we can select but currently i am going to select the operation type go here and assign and i am giving the name called assembly body or body assembly i can just i'll name it as a assembly body assembly and here you can add the description like whatever we we want like a pickup body from somewhere it is coming from here like that if it, we have any description we can add those description as well and here i'm not going to add anything just i'm added the name and i'm going to finish it here so now you can see that i have created the necessary operation under this body assembly process so likewise i'm going to create necessary operations under the assembly processes as as well i'm going to create from here now i selected the operation go to next and i assign the item id and add the necessary name and for under part assembly i am going to create some operations called like first one i will create like a nib assembly so i am going to create next like a refill assembly here also we can add the description if we require and next i will add the fix cap or cap fix so under this part assembly process i have created these operations here and next we'll go to the validation process in validation what are all the validations are will take place here so for generally i'll just create for example purpose like i will create the operation called like cap validation and then i will create the nib validation or we can add the inspection as well when nib inspection or anything and now i'll add the final one is a pen inspection like a pen validation after final product is open then this is the pen validation so likewise we need to create the structure of bop and based on this we will consume the data from mbom to bop and this operation right this will contain the bo mbom data as well like assembly switch 
we are creating in the mbom that con this operation contains the mbom data as well as this contains the ebom data as well like we have created the ebom right we don't have any resources here so if we have like station 10 like for example this assembly process right this is happening in the station 10 means like this equipment data we will copy and we will put it in under this operation so so this will be containing mbom data as well as plan data like equipment data also this will be containing so after this in uh, in general in reality what we do is from here we will create the study or uh, uh, anything and we will open this in the process simulator if it is the way uh, if it is having the simulation activity and an engineer will open into process simulate and they will do the validation and they will create the path or some processes and everything based on that they will do that then they will save that in the mpp in the team center and it will reflect here so likewise we will use here and one more thing we will create like under bop and we will create the work work instructions like you can see here file open with and we here we have an option called if you want to attach anything we can attach here likewise like we have an option called like work instructions so you can open the work instruction here and for that currently we don't have any license for that we should have the proper license so that in bop like build a process an engineer can create the work instructions likewise that upload guy whoever is going to use and they will have some instructions here like you do this and do that and don't do this and sometimes we have an like electronic work instructions as well so we can add those like safety wise we, we need to do this and we can attach the image as well this will be like this it looks like this and like that right so we can guide the next manufacturing process likewise we can create the work instructions as well so now once after creating the bop and we will see about how to link between the mbom to bop like uh, whenever we are going to consume the data from mbom to bop and it should be link each other and as you already know that how to link ebom and mbom and how to consume the data from ebom to mbom and in general in ebom we will be having a lot of engineering data and from here we are segregating like a how we are going to manufacture like we are defining the uh, different different assemblies and based on that particular assembly and we are uh, consuming the particular data from the e-bomb so likewise these assemblies will be going to consume in the bop like this body parts right this assembly will goes to bop and from boe that particular boe data like for example if it is station 10 this data will comes to this under this so likewise we will consume the data now we will see how to link uh, between mbom and bop now i have selected the bop and go to tools and again like a link or associate here we are going to go to option called associate product as a target and this one right associate work area this will be used for linking the boe we will see in next step now we are linking the mbom so I have selected here and target is our mbom and you can go to you can select here and you can go here or else we have an, another option called select this pen mbom here and here we have an option called activate if you click here you can see here this will be activated in the ui now i am selecting this pen mbom here and then i am clicking the set add or current selection so now i will click on ok so now these two are linked successfully so likewise go back to bop and go to tools and link the boe as well link structure and associate work area and here we need to again go to boe and activate this and select this top node and select then click ok so this also link each other so that we can consume the data from here to here and mbom to bop or boe to bop so for example just i'll consume some data card like body parts I'm copying this and I'm going to BOP and I'm putting under body process. So you can see here this operation contains this uh, data that which contains the CAD data 
and if we have an uh, BOE data for example I'll just copy and put this question 10 under this operation so likewise we will create the operations in the BOP and this from this right we can create the study in the study and we can which we can open in the uh, process simulate and we can do the validation there but till now you guys understood like uh, how to create the MBOM and BOP and BOE how to link each other and how to consume the data and what are all the basic instructions which we need to follow so likewise we will create the BOP likewise we will create the BOP structure here so now which I, means I have explained in previous uh, slide like uh, open collaboration context so if I click like this it looks like this so we have four bombs opened here but if you want to see in uh, uh, order wise so we need to open this collaboration context tree so that we can able to see all the bomb structure here like what and all I opened here so like that we can open here and another option is called like you can select this and we have an option called unload so if you do like this will disappear from the UI and this BOP you can copy and uh, put it in the your particular folder I'll go from mbom and this is the mbom which I have created I'm copying it from here I'm going to home folder and I'm going to folder which I have created and here I have an training ebom mbom bop boe and here I'm coming in pasting it here so that it will be very easy whenever you are come back and logged into this team center and instead of opening or or well, again we need to type here again otherwise we need to come here and instead of that if we copy it here directly you can open from here so that is how for our reference purpose we can copy over the the bomb structure whichever we have created and we can keep it for our reference I copied BOE then I will copy the BOP as well Okay, then I can close. please visit our team center and NX helpline which is free and open to all PLM community here you will get instant expert assistance guidance and best practices for your organization and you can also email us on mentioned email ID we provide services to these Siemens products and also developed our own smart port application to automate issue reporting and resolution Thank you for watching this video.